Hey guys, it's the 24 here on day one of my twisted braid out using the Afroveda product. Hold on people, I don't remember the name now. I'm tired guys, long day. Um, yeah, the pure whipped hair jelly. So I didn't wear it out today, I just didn't feel like, and I tend to do that when the time gets a bit colder because I really don't feel like having my hair out and exposed. I just undid them this morning and pretty much I intended to kind of fluff it at work but it never happened. I just have it in a ponytail of sorts at the back. Um, maybe tomorrow I'll open them up. For now they are quite a firm hold and quite defined. I guess as a gel would be yeah as a gel would be and I imagine that it will be quite nice out um, this is it taken down and just bear in mind I've had it pulled back for the whole day so there might be like marks from the um the band that was in there so yeah so guys this is day one okay guys so yeah that's it for now and i'll see you guys tomorrow for tomorrow's update on day two okay guys bye god have mercy Hey guys, 2024 hair coming to you with um, on day two. Today is what Tuesday. On day two of my braided twist out, twisted braid out, whichever um, second day hair. I opened them up some more. Today was very rainy out, and so there's some frizziness to it. But even before I went out in the rain, there was some frizziness too. My hair is extremely soft guys and I kind of had a problem separating my hair because I find that when I let my hair set too much like if I go a whole day with twists in my hair um, dried and everything my hair takes a while to fluff up and it doesn't fall as well as like if like I braid it like tonight and twist it out tomorrow like if I go a whole day with with my hair twisted up or whatever and then open the twist on like a Tuesday or a Monday or something it doesn't come out good but anyway I had like I had to be fluffing it but I like how it looks um as I said it's a bit frizzy not a bit frizzy it is frizzy and I um I like it so day two guys um I'll come to you tomorrow and I might do something else with that product just to see how it will work doing something else. Whatever I decide to do, of course, I'll let you guys know. And, um, yeah, so that's, that's it, okay? Take care, guys. And um, have a good day. Um, what else? I had something else to tell you guys. Uh, yeah, Afroveda made a statement on their website stating that it was because of the raise in material, the price of materials in these economic times, that that was why they had to raise the price. Um, but guys, as you've noticed, nobody else has raised their price. Cost of raw shea butter, they said, went up and all of that stuff. And they also stated, go on there, guys, and check it out. Because I'm not, you guys have to see for yourself. Um, you know, they know it would have been pretty much out of the price range of some of us. Now, if you knew it's going to be out of the price range of some of your customers, why would you do that? Okay? And they also stated that all this time they were absorbing these costs. But now they made an executive decision probably to um, raise the prices. Anyway, that's neither here or there. The here is as such. All right?
so yeah and um i'm gonna take pictures so y'all see it close up in its pretty state okay bye guys night Hey guys, it's been to 24 on day 3 of my braided twist out, or twisted braid out, um, using the uh, Afroveda jelly, gel, whatever it's called. Anyway, um, yeah, so uh, last night I pretty much misted it in the shower and divided it up into two, three, f five twists, one in the crown, two on the sides, and two at the back, and I ran some of that Pure Whip Jelly, um, the Pure whipped Hair Jelly on it, and twisted it up, banded it with one of my little banding thingies, and went to bed, and this is the outcome of that. It's rather stretched and quite fluffy. The hair has a lot of movement if you can see and it's still extremely soft I think I might do the same thing tonight um, in the morning I just pull them out and when I some of it wasn't dried so I diffused and um, also I ran some oil in handmade over it um, to combat because I felt it needed something to kind of moisturize which I did and this is it guys uh, I really like this product. It's very light and custardy. Thus, you know, it gives you a really nice fluffy look. Today, tonight I was going to do something else and I was thinking of doing a banded wash and go with this. But to be honest, guys, I'm tired. Um, it's the middle of the week. It's hump day. And really, I don't really think it's necessary for me to do that. Um, you know, unnecessary manipulation of my hair when it looks quite fine to me. I just, yesterday I thought I'd do it because I thought I'd be bored. But at the same time, it's just really not necessary. So here's the hair. And of course, I'll attach pictures. Okay, guys, so this is day three, okay? See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay guys, this is day four of the twist out thing, ready to twist out using the uh, Aprovita Pure Whip Jelly. Um, I'm tempted to do a review now, but I don't have the time. They will not be at day five, um, for obvious reason. The product obviously works, and frankly, I don't want to be um, giving any more air time to Aprovita products, um, but yeah. I'll be reviewing this product tomorrow, but um, for now, this is the results on day four. I would have done the review tonight, but husband is like tripping. He wants me to, I just came in, and he, uh, he needs me. Hmm. Alright guys, so this is it guys, fluffy, kind of big, and I'm going to be handling tomorrow night. Alright guys, take care, bye. Okay guys, so I'm at lunch at work. I told you I wouldn't come on a day five, which this is not really um, included in the, the preview, the post usage of the Afaveda stuff. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to show you my hair in light, in natural light. 
So I have it up in a pot right now. And it is uh, still very soft and very defined. You know, typically on my day five, I will put my hair back anyway. So as I mentioned last night, I'm gonna be doing a henna treatment tonight. But people, I don't know if you can see, but the braids are popping, been popping. driving's all business, not supposed to, but hey. Uh, so yeah, so here is my hair. Still pretty fluffy and has quite a bit of movement. So yeah, so this is just a little insert in the whole account of the uh, performance of the product. Okay guys, so see you later on the review. Uh, take care. Twenty-four here. I'm um, just coming on quickly to give you the synopsis uh, in the form of a review of this product. As I said, I ain't gonna spend much time on it. Um, Nappy Chronicles did a video a couple of days ago regarding giving free advertisement for products. That's exactly what I've done with Afroveda, and I know. I don't want to dwell on this, but um, I don't mind doing that, especially for my black-owned businesses. But on that note, you know, for this, I, 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 I can't. So anyway, the product is very good. Um, you know, giving you an honest opinion, it's a great product. Gave me all week hair. I would say I would love it as far as the lightweight hold that it and softness that it gave my hair. Would I recommend this? Yes. Would I recommend this? No. Would I recommend this last month? Yes. Would I recommend it this month? Yes. But not at the price that it is right now. Um, for a company that has in the past have inconsistencies and so on. You know, I am very curious to see, not by myself, but to see how much the little knots and, 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 and knits that have been um, associated with this company will be ironed up because hopefully at the prices that they're charging they'll be able to do that. Uh, yeah, so without further ado, that's it for my review of the Pure Whip Hair Jelly. Um, it's a long weekend for us here in Canada. On Monday, it's our Thanksgiving, so I'm getting ready for that, y'all. I will be having, um, going to my parents for Thanksgiving and husband's doing the chefery. So there's a lot of preparations to do. And, um, yeah. So, uh, just to tell you guys, yeah, nice product. Won't buy it again. Can't afford it. However, um, that's about it. I think this is it for for this um here's in a puff as i showed you today and i'm gonna be henna in tonight all right guys i've already set up and prepared my henna and my mom actually gave me some henna that a salvation lady that worked at her workplace gave her to give me i haven't used it yet but um, and I don't know this brand. It's called Lee. It seems when I opened it, it seemed to be pretty uh, fine as far as the, 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 the mill of the product, the sip, I should say. Anyway, that's just an aside. I'm just rambling right now. So yeah, take care you guys. I'll see you at some point. I don't know when, but um, until then, take care. Bye.